What's up, bikers? I'm Johnny Thompson from Fit for Racing, and we're here with professional downhill racer Jack Redding and second junior world champs finisher Dan Slack. And we're going to do a workout today. We're going to show you two amazing movements to make you a better rider and then integrate those into a workout. These movements are with a barbell or a dumbbell. We're going to show you two options, barbell and dumbbell thruster and the dirty clean. Let's take a look at the barbell first. You might be more familiar with this. So the thruster starts with a front squat and finishes with a press. So you're picking the bar off the ground into a good front rack position. If you can tell the bar is connected to the shoulder that keeps it close near the center of gravity to make the squat a lot easier. So he's gonna squat between his hips, keeping spinal integrity the whole way through. And then from there with some power, driving up into an overhead press. So the legs do a lot of the work, increasing the velocity of the bar off the shoulder, which generates more speed and power. Good. The second movement is the dirty clean. The reason why we call it a dirty clean is because it's not efficient like an Olympic lift. It's a variation of an Olympic lift, which is specifically for riders just like you. You take a wider grip than you would press, and then you're gonna hinge from the middle. Again, priority, lower back curve. The bar is gonna be a few inches away from the knee, so we get a 90 degree hinge at the hip, and then from there, the hip initiates the movement, pulling the bar straight up. So the velocity is in the bar from the hip extension, and then you're gonna follow that velocity and turn it over with elbows directly under the bar. For those that don't have access to a barbell, or simply prefer dumbbells, ahead of the dumbbell on the shoulder to start, and then thrust her over the top. If you struggle with shoulder mobility, a dumbbell thruster is a good variation. And then the clean. The principles remain the same. 90 degree hip initiated with an extension and then the dumbbell head to the shoulder. Hips, then arms. So it's important to think core to extremity movement, much like a throw. This is an effective way to generate power through the hip and then follow through into the arms. All of these movements are big compound movements, but it's very much that the thruster is dominant on the quads and the pressing. On the cleans, it's posterior chain and pulling, which make up all of the movements that you need for a big, big workout, of which we're gonna do now. So there's four different movements there, thruster and clean with barbell, thruster and clean with dumbbells. The workout is on the minute, every minute, for as long as possible. Yeah! Three, two, one, go. By the end of the workout, we adjusted all of the numbers of the reps to keep the intensity high and appropriate for these guys' level. So we did eight thrusters with the barbell, and we did 10 cleans with the barbell, then 10 thrusters with the dumbbell, 10 cleans with the dumbbell. And that was a sustainable pace that might be decent for 20, 30 minutes of work that you can probably do without peaking. We'll do the thrusters to finish on the barbell. Because they favorite movement. They're the best movement for mountain bikers, Jack. Said it yourself. Fuck you, coach. So just finished the workout, absolutely cracking. We adjusted the movements as we said we would so that we get the numbers right to keep on that very intense level, but don't go into the danger zone. If you're gonna try this workout, stay safe. Make sure you know the appropriate weight and you can adjust the numbers as you go. I'll see you next time. Peace. Peace.